I've never done this well. And even when I have, I've obviously not had this many points because I don't have this many bonus players. So I took a screenshot and that's when I was like, I think something's happening here. Oh, buddy. If only I knew what was about to happen. Okay, folks, wickedly unplanned video for you. I had literally no intentions of making this video, but I was just sitting here. I'm, I was watching the NFL draft and we're getting all these free packs. If you have your notifications on tab, you probably noticed you were getting a whole bunch of free packs. Let me take you through all the guys that I got through these free packs. The packs themselves are the Fireball box and the Icy Veins box. I did spend some gold pulling some packs here just because I wanted a couple guys and I had some gold to spend. But keep in mind that most of these guys were just pulled from free packs. So I got Larry Scariel Jr who's a five star max 325. I got Jordan Romano, 325. I got Juan Soto, 325. I got Sandy Alcantara, 290. I, right now he would be my second best starting pitcher. I got Elias Diaz, who is 290. He'll probably be a sub, but for right now he's in my main spot. And then I got Spencer Strider as well. So that is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of the bonus players, okay? So I'm pulling all these guys and I'm like, wow, I could really seriously wreak havoc on this club event right now. So I'm like, okay, you know what? We've never top 10 to my club. Isn't that great? Uh, I mean, look, I love the guys to death, but hold on, I'll, I'll show you why. So as you'll notice here, we are ranked 33rd in the Royale for the weekend. And we have the total club points, 286 million. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, for the Royale, it's Friday right now is, is when I'm recording this. So, you know, we still have two more days. Pretty solid, I would say. Um, but let me pull something away for you here. Look at what my contribution is. 285. Look at my members. I am lapping them by millions. I went to my club chat and I said... <laughs> I was a little, a little passive aggressive here. I said, need some help in the club event, fellas. Let's get our first top 10. Now, would it be cool to get a top 10 and, and maybe try to move up and get a couple more and get to the majors instead of the minors? Yeah, of course it would. Of course it would. Of course it would. But, 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 I'm not going to be picky. Um, I love my club events. So anyway, I, I started racking up a ton of club points. Um, and I thought that alone might be good enough for like a short or something like that on YouTube. But then something ridiculous happened. Okay, I'm actually in my photos now, but uh, I spent four gold to uh, advertise myself on YouTube. So if you thought my shilling on here was incessant, just imagine going into the global chat on Tap Sports Baseball and seeing me shell out for my YouTube channel. Hey, speaking of which, if you wanna see more Tap content, I'd love to have you around. Feel free to subscribe. Let's get back to what we're talking about. They came out with a Target Bash event and I figured, well, I have so many of these bonus players, I'm probably going to be able to get a pretty high score. I don't know. I was expecting like a million or two million, like pretty easily, because I had like four guys that had extra bonuses. What happened was more ridiculous than that. And for you, maybe it won't be, but for me, it was crazy. I'll show you. Okay, so I got to this point, we were at extreme push. So this is the, if you don't know Target Bash, it basically goes, Power Alley, Extreme Pull, Dead Center, Push, and then Extreme Push. And then it, re it rotates back to Power Alley. You have to go through your entire lineup. So at this point, if you look at the photo, Extreme Push, and I have five outs left. I didn't get any person out the entire time. I had a 167 hit streak and 4.6 million points. And I was like, this is insane. I've never done this well. And even when I have, I've obviously not had this many points because I don't have this many bonus players. So I took a screenshot and that's when I was like, I think something's happening here. Oh buddy, if only I knew what was about to happen. Okay, so now you see we go back to Power Alley and I get all the way through Power Alley. Elias Diaz was my number nine hitter. And I, I got in and out, I think it was uh, Guriel who got out. So then I had to get it all the way back up, but I was back at 159 hit streak above 6 million, 6.1 million. So I'm like, okay, I got it out. Maybe I'll fade a little bit. No, 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 no. Well, here we go. Now we're on extreme pull. This is only probably about three or four batters later, but now I'm over the 7 million mark. 181 hit streak. Okay. Now we're still on extreme pull. Heredia, 208 hit streak. Okay. 
Now, still on extreme pull, the number eight hitter, 221 hit streak. I still didn't have another out yet, 8.6 million. And look at like the amount of points I'm getting. Like Jimenez has no bonus. That's not like super far for this mode. Like a lot of my guys can hit like 520 and I'm getting like over 100,000 per hit. I mean, there was a point in time where I was getting probably like a hundred plus thousand if I hit like hit like a infield single. It was ridiculous. The sum of the bones. But anyway, I'm an 8.6 million, 221 hit streak. Unfortunately, this is where the wheels fall off a little bit. I made it all the way through the um, dead center and I got to the push the ball and uh, flamed out at 9.5 million. But the point is, I have never even come close to 9.5 million. So I only actually cycled once, but I got 9.5 million and my max hit streak, I think was 221. I mean, it was unreal. I was just like blown away by that. I understand for some people that get like every single bonus player, they're probably like, uh, yeah, so what? You know what, for me, I thought it was pretty sick. So sue me, okay? <laughs> no, I just got really excited about it. This was not a planned video like whatsoever, but I just, I, I just had to document this. And honestly, what is your highest score in Target Bash? Because I think this is outrageous. I probably will never be, I actually still have a few more tickets, so maybe I will try to beat it. It's probably not gonna happen though. Let me know what your highest score ever in Target Bash was, if you can remember, or if you've ever seen anything like this, or anything of the sort. I don't think in my club, which you know, we did just go over, isn't necessarily the best, but <laughs> I'm just throwing them under the bus. I'm sorry, hey, 777, we're great. Lead, led by Clint Barmas, Jeff Locke Fan Club, and Rod Barajas. And we will get our top 10 someday. Maybe not this weekend, but someday. Someday we will. This is the kind of excitement that you can find with Tap Sports Baseball. At least that I find. Because I go, holy cannoli. I could have continued to. I kind of thought about it. But I was like, you know what? I did it on my first try. I didn't use any continues. Uh, I'm just going to let it rock. I'm just going to take, take what I've gotten and go from there. Let me know what your high score is in Target Bash. I really wanna hear. I'm sure there's somebody who's gonna be like, oh, I got 150 million and I didn't cycle once and whatever. But for everyone else, <laughs> let me know what your high score is and I will talk to you guys next time. Keep playing. Hey, participate in your club events. Okay.